Okay, today we're going to show you how to add a Facebook fan box to your Microsoft Office Live website. Um, it's a little bit different only because JavaScript HTML code doesn't seem to work too well with Microsoft Office Live site, so we found a way to um, do that relatively easily. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Facebook fan page um, once you're logged into Facebook. And underneath your logo, uh, you'll find third box down, add fan box to your site. When you click that, it's going to take you to a page um, where you could add code to your site. Um, for other sites, uh, it seems to work rather well. For Microsoft Office Live, it doesn't seem to. So you're going to need some information from here. Um, before you get into everything, you might want to also make sure that you have your Microsoft Office Live editing uh, window open and uh, a notepad open because you're going to need to uh, copy and paste some things. So once you get to this page, this is not the code that you want to use. What you want to do is click here for advanced options, which will take you to a completely different page where if you scroll down, the very first set of code is the JavaScript code that we saw on the first page. Um, and that's a little bit different. It tells you what other things you can edit within the uh, fan box. But right here, using an iframe instead of JavaScript is what we want to use. So you copy that code, open up your notepad, paste it there, and then you want to go back to your original Facebook page because you're going to need this profile ID right here. Um, now, right, what I've just highlighted is the number for Visual Alliance Media. Yours is going to be different, so make sure you grab your number and not ours or else you'll have a Facebook fan box for us up on your website. So that number, if you copy it, is going to go in the code in a place called ID. So right now, you see it starts with iframe scrolling. You just uh, move your cursor along until you find the word ID equals. And right after the equal sign is where you would want to paste that number that you pulled from there. And the other thing you're going to want to change within your code, um, you may ch you can change the size down to I think 250 or maybe 200 is the minimum for width. Um, but the other thing you're going to want to change right here is the href, the URL to your page. Now for us we have a vanity URL with Facebook, so that's what we type in here. If you don't have a vanity URL, you just have to copy and paste from the URL ID um, on your page, whatever it is. And then right here where it says page name, you want to change that to the name of your company or the name of your page, whatever it is. And those are the changes you need to make. So all that being said, now you've got your code for your Microsoft Office Live website to add a Facebook fan page. So you copy that go to your editing and in this case we've just set up um, a general test page so we can show you you go to module HTML paste the code in hit OK and there's your Facebook fan box